Hello and welcome to Camp Earl Wallace, located just north of Monticello, Kentucky in Wayne County on the banks of beautiful Lake Cumberland. My name is Alex Klein and I'm a conservation educator with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. Camp Wallace has been in operation since 1951, making it the second of three conservation camps here in Kentucky. Our conservation camps are co-educational for Kentucky students in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade. Join us as we tour the facilities and activities that your child will experience during their week that will last a lifetime. For our first stop on our virtual tour, we're at the cafeteria. My name is Eric Schulte and I am also a conservation educator here at Camper Wallace. When students arrive to camp, they will head here for a brief orientation about the rules and expectations of camp, followed by lunch, and then we will divide the campers into their cabins. There is no need for a cabin bunkmate request. Campers will get the opportunity to get in small groups with their friends and we will assign cabins accordingly. After cabins are assigned, Campers will meet their cabin counselors, grab their luggage, and head down to their cabin. Hi, my name is John Goodsight. I'm a conservation educator with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. And after campers receive their cabin assignments, they will head down to their cabin to choose their bunk. We have top and bottom bunks available, and there'll be no more than 26 campers per cabin with at least one adult at all times. Each cabin is outfitted with electricity, so we have lights and air conditioning so the campers can stay comfortable during the hot summer months. When packing your camper's luggage, be sure to put their medication in a zip top bag. This will be stored securely with our medical assistant in the office behind me, along with the camp director's office. This is where we keep in contact with parents via phone calls and emails, as well as keeping the records of each activity, including hunter safety. Hello, my name is Jasmine Johnson. I am a conservation educator with Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. I am here at the archery range at Camp Wallace where campers will come down here two times throughout the week. The first time they come, they will sit through a lecture to take their hunter safety course test. And then they will take a field test where they get to shoot the bows, where we will show them how to properly and safely use the bows. Um, they have to get a certain amount of points out here on the range to make it into our field course where they get to shoot 3D targets. Campers will come to our nature center twice for an indoor activity and the air conditioning with a break from the summer heat. So they will come here for nature class and outdoor survival class. Each will feature a short test that's multiple choice to go towards their hunter education certification. During nature class, students will learn about Kentucky's wildlife and conservation here in Kentucky and also get a chance to go on a nature hike. During outdoor survival, campers will learn about the importance of preparation before going into the outdoors. At the gun range, campers will learn the importance of firearm safety in a two-part class beginning with a lecture followed by a test. That test is multiple choice and it goes towards earning their Kentucky Hunter Education Certification. All staff working at the firearm safety range is certified as a Kentucky Hunter Education Instructor. After the test, campers will begin shooting here on the range with 22 caliber bolt action rifles. They'll be shooting at paper targets that they get to bring home and it is required that they wear eye and ear protection at all times while on our ranges. That eye and ear protection will be provided by Camp Wallace. After shooting here on the range, campers will go through a field course where they will be carrying a disassembled firearm to show safe firearm handling. After the field course, we'll all head over to the shotgun range where campers will get to try their luck at shooting a clay pigeon. Hello, welcome to the boat dock. Here we have our motor boating and canoeing activities. My name is Jamie Alton. I work with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife as a conservation educator. And here, as the campers come down the hill, they'll grab a life jacket. And before they step on the dock, the staff We'll check that life jacket to make sure it is secure and buckled properly. They'll come and have a seat on the bleachers. 
they come to this activity twice. First time they come here, they'll be learning the information. Second time, they'll be testing. So first thing they do is go over the boating instruction, and then we have the canoeing instruction. And as mentioned before, as they come down here for the second time, they'll be testing, and this is how they can earn their boating patch. Like at the boat dock, at the fish dock, campers will wear a life jacket at all times. Their first time visiting the fish dock, campers will receive a basic fishing and casting lesson. After the lesson, each camper will get their chance to practice casting at our floating targets. When they're not casting, they get to fish in the fishing area. The second time visiting the fish dock, campers will take their casting test. If they score enough points on the floating targets, they will earn their casting patch. At swimming, campers will start with a swim assessment. This will determine if the camper swims at the pool or at the lake. If that camper would like to work on their swim skills, we have a team of lifeguards at the pool to teach swim basics and water safety. Every staff member that works at the pool is lifeguard certified as well as first aid and CPR certified. Here at the lake swim area, campers will be tested on their swimming skills, including the freestyle stroke, elementary backstroke, putting on a life jacket while they're in the water and retrieving a 10 pound weight. All of these skills add up to being able to attain their swimming patch. We have an amazing playground area where kids can play kickball, soccer, basketball, and volleyball. We also have picnic areas where kids can rest and relax. And we also sell snacks, drinks, and souvenirs. Here at Camp Earl Wallace, we have two bathhouses for the girl campers and we have two bathhouses for the boy campers. The campers will get around an hour to 30 minutes in the morning to get ready to use the bathhouses. And then at night, they get around 30 minutes to get ready for bed if they want to shower. We have four stalls, four sinks, and four showers. We make sure that they are clean each day. We also feature an outdoor amphitheater for evening entertainment right before getting ready for bed. On Monday and Tuesday, we'll watch a movie. Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have our world famous talent show where campers can participate and sing a song, do a dance, and show off their talent. Staff will often participate in the talent show as well and encourage camper participation. At the end of the week, we will use our amphitheater for our award ceremony to give out the Outdoors Man and Outdoors Woman patches to all the campers that have earned each patch here at camp. That's cool.